I think God desires to use the Southern Baptist Convention, which of course really is you and it's me. It's not some bloated bureaucracy somewhere else. You're the SBC. I'm the SBC. If the SBC has a future, it's because individual Southern Baptists and because local New Testament churches will get a passion for the Great Commission, a passion for the gospel, and a passion for the nations. The mere reading of the Word of God was never intended to be the primary means of absorbing it. That's a starting place. You have to start there. But meditation is the absorption of Scripture. And frankly, I think most Christians don't meditate on Scripture. They may read 10 chapters a day, but they don't meditate on it. of course in your church where you present the great challenge of Christian ministry and the mission fields of the world and God does what only he can do to reach into the, the hearts of the younger generation and call them into the service of his gospel and into the service of his church. Welcome back to the Albert Miller Program. We're here live on the Exhibition Hall of the Southern Baptist Convention. We're here on the floor meeting. We have a live studio audience and lots of folks walking by. That noise you hear is the noise of Southern Baptists chattering as they're going around from uh, booth to booth. Great Commission Resurgence, uh, God just has to break our hearts over the lostness of the world. And that, that really does begin with, with each of us being willing to be broken to the point to say, we will do whatever God calls us to do uh, and go wherever God calls us to go and to, to lay it down in our own lives. And I'm convinced that that won't happen until, until pastors do that, until pastors are, are on our faces before God.